What is up with the people of Fernando Fu? Episode 9. 9 episodes. You could technically binge watch Fernando Food, people. You can binge watch Fernando Food. I didn't even watch that in my hair. But today, I am craving some pupusas. For those of you that don't know what a pupusa is, it's a Salvadorian dish. Kind of a mix between empanadas and tortillas. They're made out of flour and they stuff with cheese and, uh, and or pork, beans. I mean, oh, they're delightful. So anyway, we're going to go to a spot downtown San Mateo called La Piñata. La Piñata. I think it's La Piñata Mexicateria or something like that. But I call it La Piñata. Check it out up there. So yeah, without further ado, here we go. We're back in it, and obviously you gotta get the pupusas. There's three different kinds of pupusas that I got, and there's a whole different kind of combinations that you can get. The ones that I got specifically are cheese pupusa. There's one with pork and cheese, and one last with frijoles, cheese, and pork. So all three combined, and they have other kinds as well. Obviously, you gotta get that spicy cabbage that comes with it in the pupusa sauce, which is really just a tomato-based sauce. Get some fried plantains up in here, can't go wrong with that. And last but not least, we got chile relleno. You know, obviously all across Latin America, you'll be able to find a different variation of chile relleno, but this one specifically is Salvadorian. It comes with meat and veggies and, a, and cheese and a bunch of different kinds of food. Furthermore, the different kinds of cheese that you find in Salvador are different than other parts in Latin America. So, when you come to a Salvadorian restaurant, treat yourself to some, some of that delicious cheese, which is perfectly crisp on the outside, Nice and soft and doughy on the inside. This one specifically is the pork pupusa, and it's oh my god, I like it. You can definitely taste the spicy pork in there. Yeah, put put some of that spicy cabbage up in here. Put some of that sauce. Different kind of flavors that you get: the crunchiness from the cabbage, the softness of the pupusa, the, the 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 pork itself. Oh, it just adds so much. It's delightful. The pro stress that I believe you cut this bad boy in half. You gotta get in there. You get some of that spicy cabbage. You load that sucker up. And to top it all off, you can't go wrong with a little bit of kombucha sauce up in there. Am I right? I've come to the conclusion here the pork and cheese and the call this one oh, is phenomenal all by itself, to be honest. It has the right amount of spice because of the pork, the cheese, and the beans. It's not overwhelming, it's just a light amount that just owns the, the pork. The cheese with is a perfect platform to be able to load up on the spicy uh, cabbage and some of that sauce. Let's go ahead and try some of these plantains though. They're not crazy oily, they're perfectly crisp on the outside, they're not burnt or anything, they're perfectly soft on the inside. What I love about this dish specifically is that all the flavors are just combined perfectly and nothing is specifically overwhelming over another. But what you do get is the chile itself just infuses its flavor onto the other ingredients in there, onto the bread, it's onto the meat, onto the carrots, the potatoes. Oh. Delicious. And that concludes the episode. Hey! Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Episode nine, nine episode, people. That's a ton. Thank you guys again for all the likes, the comments, the subscriptions. It helps me out a ton with the algorithm. Guys, it encourages me to continue to do these. So continue to smash that like button. And as always, every Sunday I'm posting new episodes, so you don't want to miss out. Hit that bell, and you'll be notified whenever the next episode comes out. Obviously, Fernando Food underscore is uh, Instagram and follow me on the Yelp page. Can't go wrong. I'll be posting all my reviews there further in detail, obviously. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next weekend. Yeah.